now I really want to get to the Apple. Yeah, the Apple yeah, Vision let's Pro. Okay, so let's get to, to that. Apple. And yeah. that was yeah. really interesting. Um, yeah, I was I, able to get a demo last night, and yep. I um, got mine on Monday. Yeah, last Monday. Yeah, yeah, and it and it was uh, pretty impressive. So take it away yeah. and tell us all about it. Yeah, yeah. So Apple Vision Pro was. It's probably, I would say it's the first VR or mixed reality headset that, um, is, um, actually able to meet what it says it's there to do. It's, um, like, it's not perfect, but out of the box, the level of polish it has really shows that it's an Apple product. The gestures you use to do things work 95% of the time. The only time I had troubles was if my hands were overlapping in certain ways that it couldn't pick it up. It, the, I, it uses eye tracking, which... I've been a big proponent for for years, and this the implementation of eye tracking with just like uh, putting your fingers together works so seamlessly. Um, yeah, so it's it's really good. You yeah. focus on it. You can focus on it, and you don't have to like really like err on that thing or whatever. It knows what you're looking at, yeah. and then you just close your fingers, and you don't have to hold them up. I had to get used to not holding them up, so you can have them down here. So you're looking at it, and it sees what you're looking at, and then you close your fingers down here to select it. And I mean, it worked yeah. immediately. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it, and then I just forgot about it, and I yeah, wasn't yeah, thinking you, about it. You know, every yeah. other time there weren't hand controllers when I try with my Quest. I'm like thinking about it, you know, yeah, and with this, yeah, I pretty it, much forgot about it immediately. Yeah, it is really nice. Like the level of fidelity it has puts pretty much everything else to shame. There are headsets like um, the Pimax Crystal and, and the Varjo V xr4 that are really good um and are in this kind of higher end category but the thing about this is the level polish and the level of pass through pass through is incredibly hard to do well and a big part of that has to do with how you do the software processing of the pass-through cameras and most places don't do it that great even the quest 3 here which has some really decent cameras still has a bunch of warping because oh i think wait a minute i yeah. think desi had a question about Ooh. that desi yeah How does the Apple Vision Pro address the problem of warping in the pass-through view? Yeah, yep, yeah. So, the to explain to people what we're talking about is if you see like dead set next to me. So if I'm wearing this, my eyes are up here. The cameras that are showing the pass-through are below my eye line and are a set distance apart that is different than how wide my eyes are. That means its perspective on the world is different than what my eyes want to see. So they have to warp the image and correct it as if it's where I'm looking out. And that is computationally challenging. And to do it properly depth corrected is quite difficult. So a good tell if it's doing good job is can you catch something someone is throwing to you like a bottle of water um, while you're in the VR headset? And 
in most cases, you can't. The That's one of those things where Apple did such a good job of correcting any warping um, that it was very, very hard for me to ever find any warping up until I was in the VR headset looking at my phone using the pass-through and noticing a bit of warping on my phone when scrolling through text. And that more has to do with the frame rate and some of its processing, whereas when I'm on the Quest 3 and I do the same thing, my phone just is, it's no longer a rectangle. It starts, to, if I tilt my phone at all, it warps quite dramatically because the closer right. you are to where the cameras are, the harder the processing is to realign what you are seeing. Far away stuff is fine because your perspective and the perspective of the cameras are close enough together that far away stuff doesn't really matter for recalibration or um, having to translate it. Close stuff is what matters. So what is something that's kind of close to you that you want to use with pass-through? Your hands. So this is a big issue with a lot of pass-through hand tracking on most headsets is your hands won't be exactly where you want them to be. This, and it, your brain can get fatigued from trying to do a lot of this processing itself, being like, my hand is not, I where I see my hand is, is not where my hand actually is. And Apple has made this, almost a non-issue it's still there but it is so much less of a issue compared to in other um headsets and the other thing is uh, it's the the quality is so much higher looking through the pass-through cameras on the apple vision pro looks not it's not perfect reality colors are a bit muted lighting's a bit weird but it's you have to be used to knowing what pass through is like to really be like oh wow this is a much higher bar <laughs>